Today we know that Pope Francis visited the Gupan. In your person, in your presence, we know it is the Pope who has visited this church in this part of the Philippines. So all of you, as you begin your academic year, remember that all things are possible for God, as we heard in the Gospel this morning. And if you give your yes to God, God will work miracles in your life. Not exactly, certainly, in the way He did in the life of the Virgin Mary, but in His own beautiful, masterful way, God will make a masterpiece of your life if you say yes to God, if you imitate the yes of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And so as we begin this academic year, we turn to the beginning of our faith, that moment in Nazareth, and we ask for that grace to begin something new this year in our lives as students, in our lives as disciples of Jesus Christ. Something new is beginning. And just think about this for a moment, you young people, that our entire Catholic faith began with a young woman, a teenage girl, in the provinces, not in the capital, not in Jerusalem, but in Nazareth, a girl who said yes to God, totally said yes to God. And by her yes, everything changed the history of the world, indeed, the history of the cosmos, of the universe, was changed by one teenage girl in the provinces who said yes to God. Today we celebrate the Mass of the Holy Spirit, and that's why the bishops and priests in the sanctuary are dressed in red vestments. The fire of the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit, which we ask to descend upon all of you, teachers, students, seminarians, administrators, all of us at the beginning of this year to be filled with the Holy Spirit. What is this Holy Spirit that we speak about? What is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit can best be defined as the breath of God, the breath of God. Breathe on me, breath of God. Fill me with life anew that I may love the things you love and do what you would do. The breath of God, that is what the Holy Spirit is. Breath is life. If we stop breathing, even physically, we will not live very long. We need to breathe to live on a natural level. And so we also need to breathe the breath of God on a supernatural level, the grace of God, this life of God, spirit, of life, the breath of God. That is what the Holy Spirit is, this spirit of life which gives us a new form of life, Catholic life, which we also call grace, which changes everything. St. Paul writes to us this morning, if, if the spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead, if that spirit dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life also to your mortal bodies through his spirit that's living in you, the spirit of life. Yes, the spirit is life because breath is life, but the spirit is also giving us the power of speech. What I'm doing this morning, I can only speak to you if I breathe. If I don't breathe, if I don't have any air in my lungs, I will no longer be able to speak to you. I have to breathe to speak. So the breath of God is also the inspiration, the Spirit coming into us, allowing us to communicate that life. The entire mission of Catholic education is not only to impart and to give knowledge. Knowledge is very important but to give something even deeper than knowledge, which we call wisdom. Wisdom which comes from the Holy Spirit. Teach us to be truly wise, we said in the opening prayer for Mass today. Teach us to be truly wise. The communication of life 
in the church and in the church's educational work is designed to give us wisdom. Wisdom, as Cicero says, is the ars vivendi, the art of living, how to live. And when we ask that question, we are asking the most important question. And young people who are beginning this academic year, ask yourself that question always. How does God want me to live? Because if you know the answer to that question, you have wisdom. And if you have wisdom, you will live successfully and happily on this earth and then be prepared for the life of the world to come. The life of the world to come, which is heavenly life. Jesus is that life of God. Jesus is that word of God. And in Jesus, life and word are one. It's the same thing communicated to us in the church. And there's no better image, no better model, no better example of everything that I'm telling you this morning than that teenage girl who said yes to God in Nazareth and became the mother of God by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit. She became, in her own body, the one who carried wisdom into the world. We have that title for Mary, the Sedes Sapientia, the seat of wisdom, the place where wisdom dwells. Thank you for being such an awesome representation of the Holy Father in the Philippines. The Virgin is called Manawag because she's the Virgin who calls. Today, this morning, we have heard your call and we will go with you not just to Taft Avenue. We will go with you everywhere to make sure that the voice of God is heard by all peoples. Your Excellency, thank you for coming. Thank you for bringing us Pope Francis. Thank you for bringing us God. So for me as your Papal Nuncio as a representative of Pope Francis here in the Philippines. It gives me so much joy, so much happiness to be with you this morning in this, as I've already said, beautiful cathedral for this Mass of the Holy Spirit to begin your academic year. So don't forget to pray for Pope Francis. And remember also to pray for me, his representative here in the Philippines, your Papal Nuncio, who is so happy to be with you this morning to celebrate the beginning of the academic year here in the Archdiocese of Ligayan Dagupan. May God bless you.